Sportsman's Journal with Butch Fortman. Hello and welcome to the show today. We've got a great one for you. We're going to head up into Wabakimi Provincial Park to Smooth Rock Lake. Uh, Thunderhook Fly-In has a beautiful resort back there. They have uh, 12 nice beautiful cabins and the lake is 24,000 acres and you've got it all to yourself. So you've got just countless places to fish and it has uh, multi-species walleye, it's got big northern pike and it's got beautiful lake trout and, and whitefish. Uh, on today's show we had a lot of action, we, we caught a lot of uh, beautiful walleyes and I'll tell you what, uh, just the country itself is, you got to come up and see it. Okay, a lot of action, stay tuned. We'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. Thunderhook Lion Outpost and Smooth Rock Camp is located in the heart of Wabakimi's Wilderness Provincial Park. Larger than the Minnesota VWCA with 3.2 million acres and 15,000 lakes. Thunderhook has outpost camps on several different lakes with world class fishing and hunting. Smooth Rock Camp is Wabakimi's finest fly in resort on beautiful 24,000 acre Smooth Rock Lake. Its waters abounds with walleye, northern pike, and lake trout. For more information and a trip of a lifetime, go online to thunderhook.com. Baitmate Fish Attractant offers a complete line of convenient dips and spray bottles for every species and for every season. When Baitmate is in your boat, you can expect more hook sets because fish love it. So always make sure you've got Baitmate. Here's a nice walleye right here. This is a really nice one. With an ultra concentrated formula geared towards multiple species, it's easy to see why Baitmate is the number one trusted brand. Birch Forest Lodge Resort is located in northern Minnesota on beautiful 12,000 acre Pelican Lake. Fishing is great for families with excellent panfish action and the serious angler has trophy sized bass, walleye and northern. Birch Forest also has a great swimming beach and new marina dockage. Cabin selections can handle all size families and groups. For a great vacation call Birch Forest Lodge 218-757-3479 or go online birchforestlodge.com. Folks, we're up at Smooth Rock Lake. This is the jewel of uh, Thunderhook fly-in camps. This is our main camp up here. This lake is, uh, Smooth Rock is 25,000 acre lake. And 
we've got it all to ourselves. <laughs> you know, that's the great thing about it. And I'll tell you what, it's it's something else as far as the walleyes go. We just got started fishing. Gabe just took us out, showed us one of the reefs. Oh yeah, nice fish. Sure. That a boy. Thank you, Gabe. Oh, nice. Nice walleye. Northland Thumper Jig did it again. Oh, look at that. Look at the colors on them. It's kind of a greenish, bluish. Boy, that's pretty. Really nice fish. Too big, though. They got an 18 inch slot on this lake. So. The one nice thing about Smooth Rock Lake is that it's well protected from the wind. Even though it covers thousands of acres, uh, the lake itself has very few large uh, openings in it. A lot of it is uh, narrow and there's a lot of islands to protect you also from the wind. So this really makes it nice for the fishermen coming out there. They don't have to worry about uh, not getting out in the water to fish because of the uh, weather. Another nice thing about it too is the variety of fish in the lake. Uh, we only were able to fish for two days and didn't have a chance to fish for lake trout. But certain parts of the lake has an excellent population of trout. They can't get away when you hook them like that. <laughs> There you go, Gabe. Oh, nice. You know, that, that one hit so light, you, you think it was only a small 16-incher, but when you set the hook, and then, man, they pull back. You know, a nice thing, too, about Smooth Rock is that it's stained water, so, you know, you can catch walleyes all day long. Here it is, bright sunlight, midday, we're catching fish. which is always a nice thing. Oh boy, this one's putting up a bad light. Try to get them back, get them up here so we can look at them. Right, we don't wanna take too long. We only got a half hour show. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, nice fish. Another nice one. Another nice fish. Yeah, this is going to be a fun lake here in the next couple of days. And they also have uh, a lot of big, a lot of big northerns. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. The Northland Thumper jig again. Boy, it's been good. There we go. Unwrap it around my arm here. Okay, buddy. Thanks for the fight. There he goes. One of the benefits up here in Smooth Rock is picking blueberries. And uh, August, end of July, August is the time to come for them. And boy, I'll tell you, blueberry pie and blueberry pancakes and blueberry muffins, hard to beat. It's nice when you can 
get them in little clumps. You can really uh, fill your bucket fast. And boy, I'll tell you, they are good. Black bears like them too. There we go. Little weight, little weight to it. Right out here off the, I don't know what they call that. <laughs> the looks like a couple of big boulders been placed on top of that turtle rock. The glaciers put it there. Oh yeah, good fish. Good fish. Probably about 19. Ah, good. Beautiful. time on the water this boating season with an incredibly reliable Honda Outboard. Inspired by Honda's legendary automotive technology, Honda Outboards offer the kind of power, reliability, and fuel efficiency you'd expect from the world's largest engine manufacturer. Whether you're thinking about a new boat or just repowering, you owe it to yourself to look at Honda. See your local Honda Marine dealer or visit us online today. Honda Marine, the power of boating. There is a place that exists where you can get away from everything. Hidden amongst 270 miles of unrivaled picturesque shoreline lies Cliff Lake Resort. This 5,700 acre Canadian Shield Lake holds a multitude of species, including its best kept secret, the muskie population. Or if smallmouth bass is your quarry, then look no further than the endless shoreline structure where smallies hide. With depths reaching 100 plus feet, untold numbers of lake trout and whitefish swim in Cliffs Basins, along with trophy walleyes and northern pike. Cliff Lake Resorts is the only outfitter with three different levels of accommodations. Lost Bay is full service with modern cabins and upgraded boats. Or for shorter stays in a pet friendly atmosphere, try our Muskie Bay Camp. Or if rustic is what you're looking for, then Cliff Lake Outpost will take you back to a simpler time. Find out more at clifflakeresorts.com and start your tradition today. Stop dreaming and start planning with world-class muskie, northern pike, walleye, smallmouth bass, and abundant panfish, Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge is your next Canadian adventure. Located on a secluded island in the heart of famous Lake of the Woods, you'll enjoy modern cabins, 24-7 power, and a full-service dock with a family-friendly environment. For more information on your next dream Canadian fishing trip, contact Todd at Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge. Got my poles rigged up and yeah. flew out here in the beaver this morning and to meet you and hope we're going to catch a fish or two. Everybody thinks the owner operators get to fish all the time. I get to fish about four or five days a year, <laughs> but never a full day. Yeah. I mean, it'll come out here for a few little bit and then go and come. And... There we go. Well, Dave, Butch, I didn't, can't believe that I, you got one before I got one. <laughs> yeah, David. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to being the fisherman. I'm used to being the guide. <laughs> oh, not, just a nice, nice walleye. Oh, beautiful. 
Boy, are they, you uh, want me to take him off for you? Because I'm not used to this bush. <laughs> <laughs> nice color, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful fish. You know, this is an incredible lake. The fishery is just getting better and better. You know, we went to a catch, kind of a semi catch and release. Uh, yeah, even beyond uh, regulations. Even beyond yeah. the regulations about five years ago, and the fish has just gone wild in here as far as the numbers. And the year classes are getting phenomenal as well. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it's done wonders. The guests love it. There we go, David. All right, Butch. Well, I just missed mine. You got yours on. You, I think you got the one I had, especially if this is a big one. I know it was the one I had on. Oh, you, I got one on this side. You got one too? Yeah, I got one on this side. My guest on today's show is David Dill. Oh, I lost mine. Sorry about that. I didn't lose mine, David. Is uh, David Dill, owner operator of Smooth Rock Camp up on uh, Wabakimi Provincial Park area. And I'll tell you what, he's got some fishery up here, as you can see. But he also uh, has a, a Thunderhook flying camps, which he has outposts all around this area. David, maybe explain a little bit about it to the people. Well, Wabakimi Park is a wilderness park, much like the Boundary Waters in Minnesota. Uh, the exception is, is that the licensed outfitters, such as myself, we can have boats and motors and uh, cabins and airplanes and get you in here and out of here. Kind of be honest with you, what really appealed to this is the exclusivity of these things because we have a 24,000 acre lake and I'm the only operation on the lake. Yeah. And our outposts are all exclusive as well. And you can have a boat and a motor and flying in a plane, and it's uh, kind of for old people like me, you know. <laughs> yeah. Instead of all the paddling like we used to, like we did in yeah, the Boundary like Waters. Yeah, we did. We both. I yeah. guided in the Boundary Waters back in the '60s. Yeah, me too. I d guided for uh, Zups and Hanbergs on Lac La Croix and up in the Boundary Waters, and you know, I'm just I can't take that paddling anymore. So I found this place, and I ended up buying it. Yeah, it's and beautiful. Fishing is incredible, and the it fish really numbers is. are great, and the fish size is uh, excellent. So we have a good time. Got, oh, you got one over there, Butch. Oh yes. Butch has got one on. While we're talking here, <laughs> you know. Well, that's three an, in a minute. Another fish. Ooh, another shore lunch fish. But we're gonna let this one go. All right. You got one? Oh yeah. That's what it's all about. I tell you what, I've been doing this since I was a little boy, Butch, and it never gets tiring. Never gets old, does it? I, my, my, I have no war with the fish, but I sure enjoy doing this. Yeah. This is so strange. I haven't fished in the front of a boat for a long time. Yeah. Oh, that's another nice eater. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's uh, hieroglyphics on this or not, like there yeah. is at Lac La Croix. Yeah, right at Lac La Croix, yeah. Yeah. yeah right near. There are, I know they're in the Wabakimi, I know there are uh, uh, Aboriginal uh, mm -hmm. hieroglyphics. Okay. But I just don't know where. I haven't been here long enough to find them. Sure. But that just looks like Sandpoint Lake right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what it looks like by my parents' cabin, that whole shoreline right there. It's a little better one. I'm gonna get out of your way huh? here. Yeah, nice. Go. Here, let me land that one for you. Okay. And uh, David, the operation, you have both the fly-in to outpost camps, and then this is your main camp, huh? Right, this is the, our resort on Smooth Rock Lake. Yeah, this is, uh, what, 25,000 acre lake to yourself? Yep, we're the only resort on the lake. <laughs> have been, that's forever. Well, that's a nice fish. Yep. There we go, David, right by the marker. Yep. They're stacked in here. And there's, the wind is starting to come up. Yeah, as soon as that wind came up, we got right on them immediately. I'm going to pick yeah. up the food we dropped on the ground. <laughs> Jeez, I haven't had time to eat. <laughs> Another nice fish. Oh, yes. All right, so I'll go back to them here. Oh, we got that one, Butch. Okay, David. All right, he's not a, he's not a great big one. I thought he was a little bigger when I first got him, but he's he's a uh, this a, is a, what we call the shore lunch job. Yeah, you know, my buddy calls them boxers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come here now. I've done this a million times, Butch, and I'm still uh, waiting for the next million. Yeah, I know. It's just you never know when you set the hook how, what size they're going to be either. 
to go in the mouth here. And then all through the back here. Like that. Oh, there's one, Butch. All right. You know, the thing about this is it's fishing like this. We put it up here on smooth rock and then my outpost camps. The fish, there's so many fish. You put a buoy out like what we've got behind us. And then you come in here with kids. Oh, yeah. that was a, now that's what I call a courtesy fish. <laughs> you got them. He entertained you. I entertained him. He got off the hook. I didn't have to touch him. I still got my bait. Bang, I'm back in for another one. And that keeps, you know, bring up kids up here and they'll fall in love with fishing because yeah. there's so many fish, you catch them one right after the other so many times and they just love it and they fall in love with it and for the rest of their life they've got something to do that's fun yep. and entertaining and it can be enjoyed by a family. For sure. And we have a lot of kids come up here. A lot of kids from all over uh, central Minnesota and uh, well everywhere, but Midwest, Wisconsin, yeah. the Midwest. Uh, Central Minnesota, Minneapolis, and their dads bring them up here, and then it becomes a thing that's, Butch, you got one in the back there, <laughs> and it becomes something that they do year after year after year after year. Yep, you that's great. You can't beat that. Yeah, the kids uh, have a great time up here. And you know, the way I fell in love with this is because my dad did exactly the same thing. Oh, Butch, there's one. I got the rod wrapped on him. That little rod of your sure bends nice. Oh, that's fun to catch those <laughs> fish on. I love to bring the kids out here with a little rod like that. It doesn't matter if they're big, small, or indifferent. Yeah. They're a ball. That's a, what you call a, for flying a flying trips. It's yeah, there's oh, a, that's there's a nice a one. Nice walleye right there. That a boy. Come here, pal. Come well, on. now I know you can actually catch a nice fish. Yeah, there's a nice one. Yeah. Way to go. Now, I caught him on a fuzzy grub and a minnow. OK. Yeah, I caught him on a fuzzy grub yeah, and a minnow. The, the jigs are just dynamite. The jig and a minnow today is the is the bait of choice. Now I've been catching them on yeah. chartreuse and then this G green color. Kelly green, yeah. A little bit before I had I had my hook bent in a little too far and when I opened this hook up right here, Man. I opened it up so the angle was and then they, those little short biters that weren't getting it all in their mouth, I was catching them. Then. Yeah, they're hitting real real short. There we go, David. A little bit heavier. I don't know. I can't say it's real big, but it's still. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Not a big one, but. Well, Butch, they're all nice. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Nice golden sides. Boy, I'll tell you, they're pretty. You know, it's funny. Uh, Shabakwe, you know, they're white bellies. You right. hear they're yellow bellies. That's because that's a, more of a sand lake than this. This yeah. has sand, but it, you, as you can see, this lake looks like a, more like a Canadian shield lake. Yeah. Then up there, that's the Albany River, and that's all a giant sand esker for hundreds of miles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a little better. All right. All right, Butch, all right. That's this what is, we like. We We've been catching the... them one right after the other here. Yeah, and we have to go. And now we got to go because I got to get back to the base and meet some more guests. I know it. And I'm going to get a fish while you're getting that one. Okay, you got one more chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a decent fish. It's a nice one. Beautiful fish, David. Beautiful. All right. Whoa, I can hardly lift that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a beauty. Well, David, it was a great trip, and I'll tell you what, uh, I'll be back. This, this country up here is very special. In memory of Mr. David Dill, devoted husband and father, member of Minnesota State Legislature, and friend of the sportsman. Closed captioning brought to you by Gamma. Molecularly Altered Fishing Line. Gamma, the highest quality fishing line in the industry.
Thunderhook Fly and Outpost and Smooth Rock Camp is located in the heart of Wabakimi's Wilderness Provincial Park. Larger than the Minnesota BWCA with 3.2 million acres and 15,000 lakes. Thunderhook has outpost camps on several different lakes with world class fishing and hunting. Smooth Rock Camp is Wabakimi's finest fly in resort on beautiful 24,000 acre Smooth Rock Lake. Its waters abounds with walleye, northern pike, and lake trout. For more information and a trip of a lifetime, go online to thunderhook.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I'll tell you what, what a great area up here. Like I said, uh, a 24,000 acre lake, smooth rock all to yourself. Uh, walleye fishing is phenomenal. And I'll tell you what, uh, it, it's the country itself, we did some blueberry picking, uh, had some shore lunches, just a lot of fun. Also, I'd like to uh, give special thanks to my fishing partner in the boat today, David Dill, uh, owner operator of uh, both Thunderhook and also Smooth Rock Camp. Uh, we had a chance to finally get out and do a little fishing. He's so busy at, at base camp, but uh, we had a great time, had a, a good conversation about this country. And I'll tell you what, you gotta come up and see it too. We'll give you their website and their phone number so you can come up here and see it yourself. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next week. For more information and a fishing trip of a lifetime, contact Smooth Rock Camp at 1-807-583-2106 or go online thunderhook.com. I would like to give promotional considerations and special thanks to these fine sponsors. Check out my website, butchfurtman.com. Thanks for watching Sportsman's Journal. Tune in next week for more outdoor action.